So you're watching a presentation of Aldello for Restaurants by POSNation.com. We're here to show you in the demonstration database or the demonstration program how Aldello for Restaurants can be configured for a bar or a nightclub. In the demonstration database, if you've downloaded the program to run through, it sets up the software in a way that normally looks like a table service restaurant and many people look at the software the first time they open it and think that it would not work for a bar nightclub. So we wanted to demonstrate that uh, it would work very nicely. It just takes some configuration. The software is very flexible, has very many options. And we want to show those options in this demonstration. This is by no means all of the options available within the software but it does highlight some of the flexibility of the software and what it can do for a bar and nightclub. So here we have a menu that has been programmed. This is by no means the only way to program a menu, but one of the ways that we could program a menu for a bar and nightclub. And in this case, um, we could uh, start a new ticket. So in this case, we'll start this ticket and we will, uh, and the first thing that it does is it comes up and asks us for the name of the customer. So we'll say this is Henry. Um, and we don't have to make it capitals or anything pretty, we just need to get it in there. So this is going to be Henry, and he's going to have a Smirnoff. Um, and then down here it's showing us our modifiers, so we could do that uh, Smirnoff with 7-Up. We could put it in a tall glass with a twist of lime if we wanted to because we have lots of other options of modifiers that we can use here as well. We could also, uh, let's say there's somebody else at the table and they're having a Heineken and we could do several other beers and keep track of those and keep track of those in, in separate seat numbers if we want to, do split tickets and all those kind of options that are very helpful at a bar. But in this case, let's say we're going to actually keep a tab. So I'm going to hit done here and that will store that order so that we're keeping a tab for that customer. Now within the software there is an option that many bars like now uh, which is uh, pre-authorizing credit cards so that means when the, cu the customer comes in they can hand the card to the bartender who can then swipe the card authorizing the card for say fifty dollars held from their account for that account so if the customer gets has a little bit too much to drink and uh, walks out and doesn't pay, then they still have that credit card on file to charge to their account. Um, and it will also take that person's name and put it as the person on, on the tab. Now what you've seen here, this uh, little screen that popped up that says enter access code, this is telling us um, after 30 seconds there is a security function that can be turned on or off on the software that after 30 seconds the system will sign off the cashier so that they have to sign back in so that another person couldn't come in and get into the drawer if the bartender walked away too much. So this is a security function that can be turned off if not wanted. So I'm going to log back in. My security number is very easy to, to use just because I'm doing an example. In this case, let's say I have one of the tabs that I already have. I want to go back, open back up. I can go back in here. And let's say Fred now is ready to pay out. So I'm going to pull up Fred's order. And you can see our total on Fred order is $14.45. We can now uh, look down here and we have these buttons in green. If they're paying in cash, they're going to pay with one of these buttons. It would be most likely uh, $14.45 would be if they're paying for the exact change. I would just press this button and that would mean exact change. Then it also gives me the next highest logical tenders. These buttons change with the total of the bill. So since it's fourteen forty-five, the next highest logical tender is fifteen. So they put a fifteen dollar button here, and the next highest logical tender after would be twenty. Most likely, the person's going to give us either fourteen forty-five exact change or fifteen or twenty. Um, we could also, in this system, uh, make taxes inclusive in the, in the system if we wanted to do that. Uh, so there's several options, but. In this case, they're going to pay $20. There it shows me my change due. We can do a frequent diner track, which would say, hey, if uh, you spend $200 with us, we're going to give you a $5 credit or a $10 credit or something like that. So we can also do frequent diner accounts to bring customers back over and over again. There are many more functions that we would love to show you with the software. Um, and please visit posnation.com 
so you see the software, download it, and play with it on your own system. You can call in for a demonstration online with one of our knowledgeable salespeople who can also give you a free quotation and help you with all of your needs. Again, that's POSNation.com. Thank you very much.